So yes, we are on. Is it really? But what the hell? They really just ran to. So for some reason, when I opened my music player today, start the playlist. It's like duplicated it. It was in there twice, and it just randomly went from the Baba is You theme to the Baba is You theme, the the second copy of it. It really wants to play Baba is You. And it randomly started with Bob is You. I didn't actually choose it today. It was the one that it opened to. It's a curse. It's cursed. <laughs> All right then. I'll just skip. We just we just played Bob is You theme. Anyway. All right. Well, let's go ahead and just go get started. We're gonna start with the daily. So what was it a couple days ago? We we did our daily run. We managed to get to the boss, and then died to the boss, uh, with a wand we made fairly early in the run, um, hoping we can kind of have at least some sort of similar luck, minus the dying to the boss part. I've never normally had issues with the boss, and I thought the wand was going to be strong enough to just deal with it, but I, I made a critical error, I think. Normally, I try and fight the boss by being far away, but uh, I misunderstood. I thought there was a shield on the boss that I could get into, like the other shields, but uh, that didn't that didn't work the same way. And instead, I just died. So we need to actually be far away. But that's okay. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and try us a daily, and this time try not die. And we're gonna try and remember the goal of just go down. That was the other thing I did. Um, I, I was being really slow because I kept thinking about what I could do to, to explore. But we don't want to explore. We want to we just try and beat the daily. That's, that's our daily plan. That's how we're going to get better at daily. We should be able to steal their shotguns. Like, how is it that just because the enemy died, their shotguns no longer use them? That doesn't make any sense. Stay away from me. Do you even hurt me? Oh my god. Well. That was a whole. Oh! 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 Okay, well. I can see how you could make an argument that that was my fault. I can see. I can see how one could make the, uh. The argument that maybe I should have realized that the giant pool of acid that was next to the water would spread out to the water, and that me being in that water next to the pool of acid was in fact a misplay. Oh man, I, you know what, I just went straight into it right there. Look at that, you can see my hubris. I wanted the gold. I wanted the gold and I saw safe, safe water. Without considering that maybe if the water is completely covered in a large pool of volatile acid, that you can't really consider the water itself to be safe. Like, <laughs> like maybe an equivalent thing would be like, hey, let's go stand underneath this giant, just giant container of lava that's being supported by very melty metal. Like... You know that's still your fault, right? That's that's my fault. I see this now. Don't don't get into the pool of water with the big thing of acid. Yeah. It just seemed like such a smart idea until I was there. 
Lorgan, hello. GG on first. Also, Lorgan, thank you for the uh, for the game. Um, I was looking at it. <laughs> the game looks fascinating. Um, I I mentioned this on Discord. I don't think you're actually on the Discord, but but I mentioned this on Discord that literally if if uh, you'd mentioned it like the day before or even hours before, I probably would have submitted it as my recommendation for this month's Indie Game Book Club. Um, but it was like I had just I had just earlier that day posted posted the uh, my my suggestion, which ended up being the one that we're doing this month, which is a minute. This month will be minute, uh, but I'll probably suggest it next month because it looks pretty fun and it looks. I don't know how long it takes to play through it. Maybe maybe it doesn't actually qualify because of duration. But I mean, cost looks good, and I feel like it'd be a fun a fun option. Uh, I have never played, I guess, uh, her, her mentioned that it looks kind of like, it looks kind of like some other games I'm unfamiliar with, but to me it looks like a fascinating kind of like Zelda 1-like game. Yeah, like, it looks, it looks very interesting. Um, I haven't decided, I watched the trailer. And from the trailer alone, I have not decided if the lighting system would annoy me or not. Like, annoy is the wrong word. I don't think I'd be annoyed. But I don't know if I'd be like... I can't tell. I've never played a game. I've seen... So I've seen... Like, uh... Like, games like that. Or, like, I've seen people use lighting systems like that. But it looks like a like it's almost part... Like, it's a way to hide things, right? Because it's using, like, the just, like, kind of binary... Either you can or you can't see. Um, it just is very fascinating to me. And I'm kind of very interested to play it. But it's definitely going to have to be slightly... If it doesn't come up for any game book club, it's going to probably be a little bit. Because I do have, like, a few games ahead of it right now. Which is kind of a bummer, because I... Like, after watching the trailer, I just really wanted to go play it. <laughs> like, like, just because I want to experience it, like, I don't want to play through the whole thing yet. I don't know if this makes any sense. It makes sense in my brain. But that doesn't always translate, you know, when the brain thoughts come out of the mouth hole. It doesn't, doesn't always work right. But anyway, oh, come on in. I hope you're doing well today. I did want to say thank you. I also appreciate all the suggestions for games that you've had, because they've all looked good. I feel like, I don't know, I don't know if I've played any of the ones that I've, I've gotten a few games like, uh, like not just sent, but like the ones you've recommended I've, I've bought. I need to play, um, one of the first, one of the first games you recommended to me is one that I also really wanted to play, and I was really hoping it was going to get picked for an indie game book club. I suggested it a few times, um. It's the one that's actually the second. There's like two games and it was the second one. I may just have to like play those on a on a random day. Cause I feel like those ones would be pretty short and they looked pretty good. There are four options for it. There's two settings for how much fog a war hides and whether the fog is black or area colored. Ooh, okay. Um I'll have to look into the settings, because cause I if it's not something where like you have to play it with these certain settings, I will probably pick one that's not quite as as uh, drastic. Cause that was that was I think my one my one concern from the trailer is I was like, this is very cool, but also it's like visually a lot. You know? You know. How many people vote for Indie Game Book Club? Um, it really depends on the, the month, and I think how many people are just, like, being, like, active on Discord that month. Um, this month, the game that had the most votes, so Minute won with six votes, so obviously that's not, like, very many. Um, I do not know off the top of my head how many people voted altogether, because I didn't go check, uh... One, one second. I 
I didn't go check how many people voted for one thing, but ne didn't necessarily uh, vote for another one. Pretty sure it might have extra time in the month. That's what I'm kind of hoping. Um, there was a few games, I, I think a lot of people, like I know that Bjorto and I were both kind of hoping for, for a game that's a shorter one to be chosen. Because the last few have, like, not been long, long, but they've been, like, longer. Longer than they anticipated. Yeah, more or less. Um. Ooh, hold on. We just, we just had some food in. Corny just got some lemons, and I'm gonna eat these lemons. Oh. Mmm. Lemon. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely, it'd be nice to have a shorter game. That's what uh, Flib Flib is the one that recommended Minute to me, and I think he mentioned that it's about like three-ish hours or so. I actually almost started playing that tonight instead of Noito, but I realized that if it takes me like I'm gonna switch games in a bit, um, and I realized that. If it ends up being that I'm almost, like, done with Minute, and then I have to switch games, that I'm gonna be, like, annoyed. I'm not, I don't want to start a stream when I only think I have, like, you know, 30 minutes left of a game. So, so I decided I would wait. Um, I don't know if I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow? I have a surprise Saturday off of work. But I don't know if I'll play Minute tomorrow, if I'll play it on my normal my normal weekend, like Tuesday or something. But I'll probably play it sooner rather than later. Like, I probably won't wait until later in the month. And I want to start it earlier in the day so I can make sure I finish the whole thing in one, like one stream. You hear Noita is a short game. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know who you heard that from, but I feel like that's a press X to doubt. Oh, you know what? I just realized that I can totally... Fuck you! Ah! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, fuck all of you! Ah, Jesus Christ! I realized after jumping down here that I think I can use this to juggle the bomb so I can actually go get the starting thing. Oh! Nope! No, I cannot! No, I cannot! I cannot use it to juggle the bomb. I swear I've used it to juggle the bomb before. Oh, that's not working at all. Okay, well. God, why are there so many of you? Frustrating. Come on, let me in. If only I hadn't wasted my other two bombs. Can I dig through this? No. Rip. Get to, I want to get to these wands. At the very least, this one I can get to. Because uh, we can convert toxic. Oh, 
think. Oh. This isn't what I thought it was. Dang it. I thought this was teleported. I thought I was going to be able to get in there. Rip. No, it doesn't. <sighs> I feel like Homebringer should be able to teleport way more things than just, like, the enemies. I think the whole enemies thing is very silly with it. Like, 99% of the time, that's un not useful. Oh, this is useful right now, though. Oh, God, this is super useful. Oh, my goodness. Circle of shielding. Uh, that's yes, dynamite, very good. Dynamite is gonna let us go get the starting bonus help. That I like to get. Why didn't that? Break the spot. There we go. Potion. I thought that was a bomb. Please stop shooting me, everybody. I do want to go down there. Don't want to die. Right. Hmm. Interesting. Recharge time of three seconds, crap. Hmm. Oh. That's just not usable. Oh, 
We took a lot of damage. I think I need to descend, which kind of sucks because I'm not like in a great position to descend, but. Probably just die if they don't descend. This one's a good one. Oh. We're just gonna avoid that dude. Oh, we don't want to fucking like, deal. We want none of these dudes. Helpful, not really helpful, medium helpful. Wow, these all kind of suck. This one has the double, it's a shuffle on them. Uh, exploding corpses, stainless armor. Stainless armor is alright. Uh, I don't really like. You gain explode. Oh, never mind. Hold on, this is really good. I didn't realize I got immunity in this one. Okay, well then we want that. These wands gotta be better than what I currently have because my one, current wand is terrible. All of them are shuffle wands. Uh, huh. This comes with a double cast. Like, I might take this. It's also not ideal, but it's cheap and it's like all right
It's only the triplicate. Like I thought with this I had some control over which where they went, but maybe not. Is it great? No. Will it let me get through the next area? Probably. We will probably be able to get to the next area with it. Um. What is that? What is that? I guess. Take you again. I'll just put that on there so it goes bombs. Uh. What a big explosion. Oh! Right, we have the corpse explosion. I forgot. I don't think. I don't know if I've ever had. No, I have. I've had it at least once. It's not a progress. This is a uh, this is a thing. Hold on. Hold on. This is a thing that has uh, thingies. But the, the, the oh, what do you call? Uh, ah, there it is. The hidden the hidden health. Yeah, yeah, hidden health. It also looks like this is the weak rock that I can maybe get through. Interesting, that doesn't count as an M, I guess? These also normally go to something. Wow. I have severely underestimated, I think, in my previous thing, how powerful this slime ability is. It's just eating away the wood. It's a little slow, but we can definitely get to it just through this spot. So, worth
forgot. He's invincible to those. Charge is really slow, but like it has so much mana that it's fine. Ow! Owie! We just, we just need to try to, and like keep people directly horizontal to us. Um, or at like specific angles. Another fire. Excellent. We have. Oh, can you not? So many bees. Makes water. I'll take that for this minute.
Oh crap. No, 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 no. Uh, let me take this. Uh, yes, it shuffled. But it looks pretty good. I don't know if I'll want the water trail. So water trail, 90% of the time we don't want. Sometimes it's really useful. Technically, I think we can use it to, like, if we shot something upwards in the air with Water Trail, I think we could probably, like, swim up with it kind of thing. Uh... Let's take it instead of this for this second. Nope. Oh, crap. Stay. 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 No. Stay. Stay. Stop teleporting. Potato! Oh, Jesus fuck! Oh my god! Oh, that's a lot of dudes! Okay, hold on. That's a lot of dudes with shotguns. You- will you stop being everywhere? You had fries with your burger today. That's pretty good. Do you not normally get fries with your burger? I will say, I get burgers. I get. You thought potato might want to know. Oh no! Is this a threat? Oh no! I don't get. I don't get fries with burgers that often because I. I'm not a huge. I'm not a huge like regular french fry fan, like they're fine, but I really like, I like thick fries, so I like like steak fries, or uh, I like, uh, what are they called? Uh, hold on one second. Um... I like 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 JoJo's or like potato wedges. So like Um Yeah. I like I like a lot of thick fries. I I don't generally like the really thin fries, like like most fast food fries tend to be the thin kind. Um, I'm trying to think. There's another kind of fry I like. I'm trying to remember what it is. I like waffle fries a whole lot, but very few places do waffle fries. I used to, when I was younger, I loved curly fries. Um, and I don't know if the places that do curly fries have just changed, or if my taste have changed. But I have had curly fries in the last, like, year or so. I got curly fries from both Arby's and, uh, what is the other place I got curly fries from? I don't remember. But I got curly fries from two different places. And both times I was like, wow, I don't, I don't actually want these. Like, like, I ate a couple and then I was like, I, I'm just not digging curly fries. And I got them the second time specifically because I was like, maybe it was the other place. And so I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is. But, but curly fries have lost their appeal to me. Um, I love thick fries. Like a whole heckin' potato. Just the entire potato. Yeah, waffle fries are awesome. Um, and I think, I feel like waffle fries usually have like the seasonings of curly fries, but then, you know, the thickness of a thick fry. The only place that I go to right now that I can think of that has waffle fries is a, there's a Carl's Jr. nearby where I do physical therapy. And uh, Carl's, Carl's Jr. does waffle fries. They have all right burgers. I, I also didn't used to like Carl's Jr. I don't know. I I usually only ever had them on like road trips and just had bad experiences on the road trip Carl's Juniors. <laughs> but then uh, I decided to try them again because again they're, they're nearby my physical therapy place. So. 
I was like, dang, these are this is good. This is actually a good a good fast food burgie. I really like it so if I'm gonna get like regular style fries, or at least regular cut fries, I really like it if they are uh, uh what's it called? Uh like the, the batter. Like the like the beer battered fries or whatever they're called. The ones that have like like a flavor crunchiness over them. Those are awesome. Which I think made me realize that I think the most I used to eat fries was when I went to bars back back many years ago. Many a year ago I used to meet up with my friends for like we just go to bars for dinner. I don't like really drink that much. Even I mean, even when I did use to drink, I didn't used to go to bars to drink. <laughs> but uh I like bar food. Bar food is good. Like honestly, even if you don't drink, bar food I ten out of ten. Most bars seem to have very good food. At Hardee's slash Carl Street are exactly what's- yeah, on the East Coast it's Hardee's, right? I know it's Hardee's and Carl- like, they're the same place. I can never remember which is which. I know that the specific one near me- the one near me is a Carl's Jr., but I'm pretty sure when I lived in Delaware that it was Hardee's. But I couldn't remember if it was like a- a southern northern thing, or if it was an east coast west coast thing. I just know it's regional. Whoa! That thing just vanished. Interesting. I think if you have better options for like a burger place, you know, like obviously go go to a better place. But like if you're just doing a fast food burger, then I think Carl's Jr. Hardee's seems like it's alright these days. Unless it's just the one near me happens to be good. Because again, all of my experiences in the past were that they were terrible. It's only recently that I'm like, oh this is this is fine. So it could just be the one near me happens to be good. Yeah, shoestring fries are terrible. I mean, they're what I don't like about regular fries, but to the extreme. They're even smaller and more boring. String fries are terrible. I got a uh, an air fryer this last summer because uh, Costco Costco had one. It was like on a sale and stuff. And it was a decent one from what I've heard, but it's only it was only like forty bucks, which that's pretty inexpensive. I feel like for a certain appliance thing. Um. Oh my god, you bled on me, you asshole. Hold on. Uh, anyway, so I did I did make some homemade fries in my air fryer. I made them a couple of times. The first time they didn't turn out great because I tried to take a lot of shortcuts in it. The second time they turned out pretty good. Because um, I actually properly like soaked them and all the steps. Oh my Jesus, I hate this bee thing. This bee summoner is terrible. Stop. Stop with the bees. Oh god. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Should we 
favorite fried fair is just the entire potato. I mean, I think you can get a fried potato. I feel like that's got to be a thing. I guess the question is, you'd probably have to, like, pre-cook it a little bit, right? Because I think that if you tried to just fry an entire potato, that by the time the inside cooked, the outside would be burned to shit. Okay, you know what? I don't want to deal with the bees anymore. We're going to die if we keep trying to go up there right now. So we're just going to try and leave. We'll go this way. Ooh, potion, dude. I would like potions, please. No, 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 no. Oh. Whiskey potion. Okay. That's whiskey business. <laughs> oh, you did a bad job there. Oh, no! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! Ah! We need to go in here. We need to go. Let me in! Look at those, like, tiny, stupid pixels that blocked me. Do you see those? Do you see the little, like. Ah. Terrible. I had to take some burrito bites. I got a burrito.
I want to be able to just travel through right here. This looks like a place for me. Nope. That didn't work. Now we should fill this clock. We just missed everything. Still one of my wands. Oh, you. Person two got Refresher, but I do want the health. Thank you. 
Wow, identical wand. Literally, these two wands are identical. Amazing. Oh well. Oh no. Oh god, it's a thundercloud. You gotta be kidding me. Why do I keep missing? Why? Oh. This isn't good. I. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's not even interesting yet. We're just gonna go. Eight seconds enough? Oh, no. Okay. So eight seconds might have been too much. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Although after doing that, I just realized I may not be able to actually get up here. One, two, three, four, five. can like force this to work. I'm a little worried.
Hey, do you want Polly? This is a reward. Oh! Well, whoopsies. Oh, crap. I can't fill that up with... I can't fill it with water because it's broken. one of the worst, one of the worst things. Dangerous. Okay. That turned the water that was there into magma, I think. Please stop shooting me, for the love of God. One HP. I think I need to do this. Hello, Artsy. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for the 15 months. That's absurd. That's a lot of months. That's a heck of a lot of months. Forgot to take meds this morning, so you know. Yeah, that's that's not good. Alright. 
let us get some freedoms. Yeah, I saw that. That's so exciting. I really need to play that. That's one of the games. Chance is one of the games that's like an upcoming game. I, earlier, earlier this stream, I was talking about how there's like a few games that are that are uh, things I want to play soon, and Chance is one of the ones that I want to do soon. Dredge, Dredge is one that um. I might own? I don't remember if I own it or not. A friend of mine played it and really liked it. Um, it's one that, like, I want to play, but, like, it's not one that's really taken a priority. It looks like... Boy Beats. You get that one. You get this one. Yeah, go Boy Beats. I do own it. Okay. I realize now you're saying crossover in terms of if it'll work on the program crossover. But at first, I was reading that, like, you thought that Chance of Sinar was going to have a crossover, like, DLC content with Dredge. And I was like, Artsy, I don't understand why you possibly think that's going to happen. Like, I cannot imagine those two games having a crossover together. But finally, finally my brain realized what you were referring to. <laughs> but like it was spoke the way the way the sentences were like it was like a like oh this will probably happen and I was just like I don't understand why why that would be likely to happen. <laughs> Although you know I've seen weirder things. Bloodstained has a bunch of crossover stuff with uh, with games that I think is like uh, it, it was surprising to me. Also, Bloodstained very good game. Well, Bloodstained, very all right game. Probably better now. I haven't I haven't played it since all the extra content came out for it. New language, Eldritch Fish. That would be very good. Okay, now you know you say it like that, and now I kinda can imagine like kinda like how uh Pandemic has a uh, like a Cthulhu pandemic. It was like a alternate version. I can I could see it. We got some pets. Would you pet a zaggy and I'll pet a bird? Yes, I, I need to pet you, okay? Pets. He's like, I'm grooming right now though, don't you understand? Look at the grubby. Look at that grubby. Well, it's got a pet. There we go. big studio yeah i so i very rarely pay attention to any like game award stuff i feel like 90 percent of the time so many games that are not made for anything are like triple a games that I, I i cannot stress how very few triple a games have ever interested me like nintendo games i guess count and there's nintendo games i'm interested in but usually most games i care about are indie games and that's probably because more, like, I feel like Nintendo's game design and philosophy usually is more, like, the same way that indie games are. If, if that makes sense. A lot of things that are in, like, the mainstream AAA games I just find boring.
Man, reminding me, I just... Now... For some reason, saying, you know, Hades 1 just made me think about Hades being really good, and it being, like, you know, Hades 2 being in development, and I just got excited for Hades 2 again, like, all over again. Oh, Artsy, also, I don't know if you've seen... Um, Dandy started working on some custom night stuff again. There may be a big, a big custom night update uh, coming out soon. TM. Oh. Um. Well, let me go grab. Oh, well, I don't think it'll link correctly, but... Let me go post one thing. I posted one thing on Colette's server. Uh, one of it's a visual thing that doesn't affect the skins. There are stuff that affects skins in development, too, though. Um, one second, though. I gotta go post this little teaser that he posted earlier today. I'm also making use of this pause time to eat more of my burrito. Delicious burrito. Okay. I just posted in your Discord the little the little teaser of the UI update that uh, it is going to be an optional toggle for what it's worth. There's been there's even been people concerned that like oh this is going to be a problem, but no, it's it, it is literally an optional thing for people who want to quickly like flip their skins. I'll post the link here. I don't know if you click that link though. I think it's going to try and download the video. So as a warning, I don't. I don't think clicking that link will just play it to anyone in chat. Um, the uh, other stuff, let me see. There's a lot of stuff that he's working on. Um, I know it looks like he fixed, he finally fixed the zero bug. For, for those unfamiliar with it, sorry, sorry for the Hollow Knight demon, but it's important. Uh, there's a, there's an issue where if Swapper is active, zero will always move to the left and does a kind of weird movement pattern. Um, sounds like he finally figured out what was causing that and fixed that, so, so zero will not <laughs> be affected by a custom knight being active. Um, oh, the other thing, here, here, you'll like this actually, because this was a change based on something we were talking about a long time ago. He's, he's improving the... He's improving the uh, dumping. He 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 figured out why some of the stuff wasn't working. He figured out why some of it's not working, and he's improved that. And once the like like it should let you swap it too. So basically, things that weren't properly being dumped were obviously not like swapping them. Uh, yeah. So now all of them should work in that room. Uh, and and this should affect everyone. So the. Uh, yeah, so it should also... The fix should also affect those, to my knowledge. There's a question mark here because it would depend to... The gravestones 
do they light up when you go near them? If they do, they might be different. I'm not sure. If they don't, then then it might fix that too. I'm saying, do they light up when you go near them? Like, uh, some some things like animate when you get near them. If they if they do that, then it may not fix them. If they don't do that, if they don't if they don't care, then it, they might be fine. Yeah, so the whole issue ended up being, I guess, some sort of limitation to, like, paths. Like, like Unity, Unity puts them in, like, subfolder things, and it was just, like, like, it was, it was, something was breaking when it was trying to get to those. I believe it was a path length thing. But, uh... But it should be... Um, yes, I believe that's what's fixed. I think I think he found a way to get around that. What? What? Um... Yes, Radiance cutscene, I think, might also be part of... Uh, I think that was one of the things he was trying to fix. I, I told you you would be excited for this! Or maybe I didn't say that. I don't know what I said. I brought it up. I was excited to tell you about it. I meant to, I meant to, uh, post, I was a little worried, because I haven't talked to you recently, you know, like, I was a little worried that if I brought it up, you would be, you would be, like, worried or stressed about it, like, if you have other stuff, you like, I, but I got excited. Um, so, I mean, technically, you could go grab the dev build right now, he posted a dev build this morning, I, the problem is, the problem is you may want to wait a little bit because he's actively doing stuff right now. And so like um if you if you do something and something tweaks, I mean So here's the thing. Dandy likes to make changes to try and accommodate what it like the artists actually want, which is where he's butt heads with people in the past, not artists, it's other mod developers. But um so like I mean, Dandy does prefer if artists are working with the dev builds and then can give him feedback on stuff. Or, like, you know, if there's misunderstandings or things aren't working, he could know while he's actively working on them, you know? On the other hand, if you're doing stuff while there's dev builds, then it also means, like, there could be changes that, that come up. But, um, yeah, if you go to the custom night... Uh, I think he posted all in the custom night channel uh, on the modding server. Let me see. One second. I did one month. Yes. That is very upcoming. Okay, I think... I don't think he's posted a build of the one that would have a lot of these fixes yet. He's talked about them, but I think the only build he actually posted was one to test fixing zero, so... I will keep an eye on it, though. When he, when he has a build for testing ready, I will let you know. Alright, I am going to continue with Noita, but I'll still be paying attention to chat and stuff.
do shield. Yes, we want shield. I knew you were waiting. Here you go, a bird's boy. Right there, right there. Uh, there the classic artsy maneuver. War, hello. Today's going all right. I was very exhausted of I'm probably secretly still exhausted. Um, but so I, I close. I did a closing shift at work yesterday, which I don't normally do. And then when I got home, you know, we streamed Stardew for a few <laughs> few hours instead of going to bed like a responsible person. And then I had my. Fridays and Mondays, or, uh, what's today? Yeah, today's Friday. Fridays and Mondays are when I have, uh, when I have my, like, early morning shifts, which are not, like, early, early, early. Um, they start at nine, but they're early for me. A person who is chronically does not like to be awake early in the morning. Um, so, so basically I ended up going, like, I ended up, like, falling asleep sometime after one last night. But I had to wake up at like 7 this morning, <laughs> and I definitely am one of the kind of people that really like to get at least a full 7 hours of sleep, ideally. So I was, I was very tired. Uh, but you know what? I'm home today. I don't work tomorrow, which usually I work on Saturdays. Um, I can't even remember the last time I had a Saturday off. It's probably been over a year. I think I've worked... Well, other than, like, taking vacation. Yeah, so, Torny and I normally, on my days off, um, I normally, like, we, we get up maybe nine? Nine is about when I like to wake up. So. And then whether or not I get out of bed at that point in time is variable.
Sorry, I was gonna respond. I just took like, a huge bite of burrito. This is my like last bite of burrito. That is, that is baffling to me. Um, I used to work with somebody who didn't want to do, they didn't want to do daytime shifts, they preferred like the, the closing and the evening shifts. They similarly had a situation where they weren't able to do them. Um, however, in their case, it's because the company I work for has this really strict policy on scheduling. And like, even though everybody could be okay with scheduling so that one person does all the closing, um, there you're like technically you're not allowed to schedule it like that. Um, and so the person will always be really grumpy. Like literally, like he's like literally nobody but me wants to do the closing shifts, but you'll only let me close like half of the nights. He's like, I just want to close all of the nights. Would not let him. So, the, 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 the policy in theory makes sense, because the, the policy in theory is basically, they call it, they call it a, a fair scheduling, and the policy in theory is that there's supposed to be a balance in the types of shifts that are being worked, so that uh, the idea being like someone can't complain, like, oh, I never get these off or something, like, the idea being that it's kind of rotational. The problem is that um, when you run into literally the, these exact situations where, where one person does want what's normally considered like the bad time to work, then it's baffling to not let that person have it. Like, like there should just be a thing where the person can say like, like say, hey, I specifically do want this thing. I know this is the thing we avoid that most people don't want. I do want it. So let me, let me have this, and that should be okay. Like, like, that should be fine. It's very silly to me. Like, it's one of those things that, yeah, just does not make sense. Like, clearly, clearly the rule needs to be adjusted if the rule doesn't account for that, right? I know a big thing with where I work, um, like like in pharmacy at least, uh, the morning shifts are actually considered like the harder shifts, like the evening shifts are the easier shifts, um, because like the first like two hours are just absurdly busy usually. Like we almost always open to like a bunch of people who are like coming from urgent care from either last the, the night before like after we closed or the morning before we open, and like. You usually have to be able to do things very quickly and like solve solve billing issues very quickly and do data entry very quickly like our morning is just very uh it's it's very uh, chaotic uh 
in a way. And then uh, our evenings, our evenings can be very busy, but they're very busy in a usually it's just like selling things. It's not, it's not usually like th that same kind of issue. So, see, I tend to, I tend to work almost exclusively mornings because I can do, I, I can do most of the problem fixing very, very well. Which is just one of those things where I've, I've done my job for so long at this point. Like, I've been doing it for, and I've worked at the same place for 10 years now. I haven't been doing this exact job for 10 years, but I've been doing it a pretty significant amount of time. Huh, I thought that would, I thought that would turn that into lava, I did a little bump. You like doing a lot of stuff? Yeah. Um, dude, I will tell you, like, the like pharmacy. So I went, I went, I was a photo technician. You know, I worked at a drugstore. I was a photo technician for the drugstore. And then um, I was looking into other jobs. Like, I was, I was uh, starting to look into stuff. And then there was an opening for a pharmacy technician at the location. And, uh, They'll, they'll pay you to get your to get certified for it and everything. So I was like, heck, why not? You know what? I'll do this because it's a it's something I could definitely go into. So they put you through the put you through like an expedited schooling and stuff for it. And uh, definitely definitely way more faster pace and very very like busy, but. I find it very rewarding work. I mean, there's a reason I've been doing it for so long. Like, overall, I very much like my job. I, I do enjoy the job. But it's also also physically taxing. So, I'm gonna have to... Gonna have to switch to something else. Cause I just can't keep up with the physically taxing part of it anymore. Uh, I might just have to descend. I don't think I can go anywhere else. I can't... I can't get over here. So this rock is the rune stone of magma, and it seems to convert simple liquids into magma. So it does not work on the slime, but it works on blood and, and water. I don't know what all it does and doesn't work on exactly. So like this water above me. Boom. So it all convert, converts it into magma. So thank goodness for this shield that I have. Oh! Jesus fuck. Okay, I should have thought that through more. That's a really good find. I'm so glad I came up here before. 
before going down there. Holy heck. Oh, wow. I don't know if always cast mana is good though. I'm pretty sure that always casts ignores mana costs, and add mana gives you the mana when, like, as part of the cost. So I don't know if that part's good, but the, uh, rest of it's good. And having another mana on it is good. I should take this one for the uh, trigger spell. Um, let's see, there's a good non shuffle. This is a non shuffle. This is a non shuffle. They both have pretty bad recharges. Recharge time. Six spells cast at once. I'll take this for the bubble. Oh, I don't have enough. enough. Three, four, five. Really need three more spells. Ugh. Dang, I need I need the three spells from this.
Oh, wait, there we go. I think this is fine. Oh!
Oh, this may be a problem. problem. I wanted to go that way, but I, I still haven't found a potion. So I can't go that way. And I'm all on help. Like, am, am I just gonna have to leave again? Ugh. Excellent. I should probably just decide. I just want to take a peek over here. I don't like that I still don't have a potion. So that's kind of stressing me out.
<sighs> we live, we die, we die again. I did learn an important lesson there, though. So, if the Chaos Die starts to roll, let it finish. Do not pick it up mid-roll, because if you do, the second you throw it, it's going to count. Like, the second it leaves my hand is when it counted the roll. And then I just died instantly. I'm going to get my new... I had never actually used large firewall. Interesting. Alright, new game. This will probably be my last go for right now because I think uh, most likely within the next like 30 or 40 minutes is when I'll switch to lethal. Hi, everybody. And we keep starting with bad, bad explosion start. I was thinking about how like with the rocks you can like kind of stand on them for a second, but this, this is like a flat top. So like I wonder if I could actually make use of this to go up, get the bonus up. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a second. Did you see that? I think I can do this. I think... How did that work a second ago? Hold on, we were standing... I definitely, for a brief moment, flew up with it.
Oh, a lot of boys. Oh, that was really good. Hold on. Probably get water. I should probably have the water instead of the snow. But if we hold on to the snow, we might be able to fungal, fungal the snow, which would be funny. Okay, we'll hold on to snow. We'll dump out worm pheromone. Let's go get this water. Can I get to this water? Where we didn't blow this up. I think this is here. Ooh. 
Ooh, teleport. Toxic immunity. Works. Still more max on that. See, that would also be good this early on. But immunities are just, I feel like, better instead. What is your amazing story? I would love to hear. I would love to hear an amazing story. Yesterday after your sister and two-year-old niece got done with their mommy and me music class, the music teacher's name is Miss Jess. I assume that's going to be relevant. This feels like this is relevant to the story. Isabel said, Miss Jess, all done. Want to see Purple Jessie? Oh, I did not know. You know, I feel like probably I did. I did know this because I've seen, <laughs> I've seen the uh, one award thing. I probably did know this, but the problem is I forget. I forget other names. <laughs> I forget most things. You have to understand. I have terrible, terrible like remembering. I mean, you, I probably you probably know this by now. Okay, okay. Your name- oh! I understand. Okay. <laughs> you are identified by- by Isabella. You are Purple Jesse. That is the name. Like, the full name. This is- this is the take. That's very good. That is very good.
silver pouch. Yeah. Assuming that one symbol is the symbol of uh, silver, I think the only thing so far I'm aware of that I need silver for is that thing. So this run gets to a point where we can go to the thing again. The circles thing. Then, then I can come back for the silver. Oh, shoot. Okay. That was very weird. Alright, have a good D&D watch. Yeah, I will yell at the top of my lungs. It will be a battle cry. It will be terrifying. Have a good evening, let's see. <laughs> no, I will reserve this for if needed. There will be no... There will be no test. It will actually be terrifying. If this happened... If this happened, um, it would probably be too late. You know, a blood-curdling scream. Like... It would be very intense. Okay, I did want to try... I did want to try doing drugs with the snow. I do want to see, we've had some weird things happen. I kinda... I'm still unsure if it's the eating it part, or if it's just holding it. I feel like I've tried just eating the thing and it didn't work. Fuck! Okay, stop moving, stop moving, no, stop. No. try doing. Freezing liquid. We can also mess with that. So, I don't know if having them on me at all affects this, but I feel like that's come up. Like, okay, let's put some snow on this. We'll eat a little bit of snow. We want you. We want the snow. Snow. Snow place like home. Snow. Snow! Hey. Okay. We've done something with snow. Oh. We transformed snow into excrement. Oh, this is not... Oh, God, we ate that first. Ugh. That is real shit. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. We have to, you know what? I have to go into the next area. The, oh god, this is going to be terrible. I have to see it though. Oh. I'm so not looking for food. It's supposed to be.
See what things are really quick before I spend my money. Resealed. Angry Ghost has kind of messed stuff up before, so I'm a little hesitant to take Angry Ghost. Uh. I'm also kind of hesitant to take Freezefield because I feel like it's messed stuff up before. Oh, no, that could be bad, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, we'll call this good. I just think... I just gonna ignore these. Maybe later I can come back and reroll. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Okay. We have to see this. Will you please not be there?
Interesting. So my snow... My snow bottle transformed into excrement, but the snow here is not transformed. Oh, this is packed snow. Oh, I bet you that counts as a different thing. Interesting. Well, that was unfortunate. Yeah, rip. Okay, I might take a break here. Um, potentially, I may be switching to lethal here in a minute. We'll see. I was potentially going to uh, play with Club. There's an opening, and I think. I think there may be an opening soon. So, let me get another air. Alright, I'm gonna put this on a BRB for a second. <laughs> 